Question 607. A, ta a tiger has got loose in your workplace or school. What are the first seven things that you do? Seven. <laughs> I was surprised by that number is you. Seven. <laughs> what if I don't go to either of those? You have to imagine that you do. You work in the, the office in office space. Before in that case, I'd just be in your in your burrow. The office in office space. Yeah. <laughs> but but I, I work from space. home, so. Yeah, you have to remember when you didn't used to work from home. But my answer is better when I'm working from home. Go on then. What's your answer at home? Well, I mean, because I would get, you know, the dog is next to me, so I would I would grab the dog by the collar first because I know she'd go after it. Then I'd go fucking get Angel. And we'd probably just jump out the front window over here that has the roof next to it and fuck off. We don't have seven oh, hours. I like the way you said, like, save the dog, then the kid. Well, no, only because the dog is always right next to me. The kid is down the hall. She, she so also doesn't think... She, she also doesn't think that the kid is stupid enough to try and attack yeah, <laughs> the, the tiger. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say that. Oh, that, uh, that reminds me. My work, whenever there was, like, a someone sent us a threat, they actually had a um, video that we had to watch about what to do if there was an attacker, and it was multiple choice, and one of the multiple choices was jump on it like a monkey and bite its ear. <laughs> I'm like, I am so tempted to take to pick this, even though I know it's wrong. And my answer is leave because my office is a big ass building. <clears throat> How do you get out? Um, I can either do the stairs, or hopefully the the tigers on like one of the elevators is always broken, and we're we're good. How about how about I uh, put out a bowl of frosties to distract him as bait? <laughs> <laughs> Would you tell them they're great? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're great. Uh, Ike says, The rifle, have the house wrench, call the cop, shoot the tiger, skin cut steak, start grill, serve steak to the cops when they show up. Yeah, bastard stealing some of mine. <laughs> Go on, what's yours? Uh... Take on the tiger, kick the tiger's ass, do a celebratory dance, make a mat, pour a drink, roll a smoke, and then just sit back and bask in my own wonderfulness. <laughs> <laughs> so you think you can take out a tiger? Clearly. <clears throat> Clearly. <laughs> and that's what you'd actually do. I ripped these down here in my notebook now. I had to make sure I had seven. <laughs> I now have a plan for taking on so, the tiger. We got set we got seven, have we? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'd okay, do seven. So, so first of all, um, I suppose get myself away from the tiger. Get anyone else in the proximity away from the tiger. Leave the house. Lock, lock the door. Run, run. What am I up to now? Five. Go down to Winchester. Have a nice cold <laughs> pint and wait for it to blow over. There we go. Did you just say go down to the Winchester? Yeah. 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 <laughs> a nice cold pint and let this all blow over. <laughs> that sounds like a great plan. <laughs> it's not, it has served it has served many people well. <laughs> but it did not work out for them so well, so I'm just saying. Badger. Alright, this is this list is assuming that I work in the office from office space. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there is a tiger in the building. Step yeah. one, leave without telling anyone. <laughs> Why without telling anyone? <laughs> Step two, lock all the doors from the outside. <laughs> Step three, go home. Step four, break out the good whiskey. Step five, <laughs> put on the news. Step six, watch the carnage. And step seven, have a fry up. <laughs> See, what I've is it you have? Before I have a drink. So. <laughs> what don't you like about the people in office space? Some of them were nice. I would literally kill myself if I worked in that office. I think it's not them. He just hates people in general. If I worked in that office, I would literally just end my existence. <laughs> 
Well, the tiger could help you with that. <laughs> Why would you bother yeah, leaving? If there's a tiger <laughs> in the scenario, then I don't have to. I can end the company. And you'd be the only employee and you could go back and take over. I'd, I'd go back, sell all the assets, and move to Hawaii. <laughs> Except that I wouldn't any... actually move to Hawaii, but that's what I'd tell everyone, so that's where they go looking for me. <laughs> someone, someone said something about it in the chat earlier. Is any, anyone actually going to ask the tiger, hey, do you know Carol fucking Baskin? <laughs> <laughs> I saw someone earlier say that Carol fucking Baskin as well. Nerdy <laughs> says, I'd start with unlocking the cabinet that holds the rifles and tranquilizer darts. Why do you have? Then I'd gather the other zoo security stuff on locate the... what Why would you have those things in your office? Well, he's assuming he works in a zoo for this scenario. <laughs> he doesn't know. Well, if we're so talking about where we work, I'd have to try to sell it some car insurance. He might. He might. He might, <laughs> he might work in. He might work in the United in, in like parts of the United States, but it's generally guns, handy, you know. He's British. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm working to change that. Well, become American then. American. No, I'm working to get to, to change the rules over here. Do you, do you prefer so Americans to Brits? So why, so we can have stupid fucking gun laws over here as well? <laughs> I think the American gun laws are much more sensible than UK ones. <laughs> yeah, well, as a, I, I'm, I'm saying that as a former gun owner, I to wholeheartedly disagree, so... <laughs> I don't think they're perfect, but I think they're better than the UK ones. Oh, then that is. <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, what was I was going to say, um, Sammy says, scream, cry, run, scream, cry, hide, cry. Sammy's the only one with a sensible plan. Oh, was mine was run! <laughs> Look at the building! Santi <laughs> says, <laughs> the <other six> <laughs> says, set up a sacrifice for the big cat and run. You were going to sell like car insurance. <laughs> that was my second answer, because we had to go by what we're working at. So if it if it was there now, it'd starve because there's no one at the office. Judy says, "Do not come here, Badger. We're awful." I wasn't planning to go there. It's too warm. They, they put gravy on biscuits. <laughs> what do you mean too warm? <laughs> there are lots of places. America has a varied climate. Yeah, we have. I've lived in places where I've lived in blizzards. I've lived in deserts at 115 degrees temperatures. Do you not understand how big America is? Yeah, they still put, still put gravy and on biscuits, though. I need to move <laughs> more. The, the gravy on the biscuits here in the South. The rest of America knows that shit is gross. They got spray cheese? Everywhere's got spray cheese. Yeah, he's go. thinking, he's not thinking the biscuits that we, we put it on, though. He's thinking, yeah. like, cookies. <laughs> they're not cookies, they're fucking, like, little balls of bread. You get nah, that, right? Nah, 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 what we're nah, getting nah, 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 about you, Badger. Badger. <laughs> what? So what we're getting from Badger? <laughs> I knew this was Badger. coming. <laughs> we're, we're no, Badger so that's thinking. not biscuits in the US. That, that's custard not... creams and bourbons. Right? And it's not even the right fucking gravy. <laughs> exactly. Sausage gravy. That's which not is white. gravy, it's goo. Sausage gravy that is white. It's yes, and it's amazing. Yeah, because sausages are famously white. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so, back, back to the tiger scenario. <laughs> oh, no, no, hold on, hold on. I, I, I just, I've got a question. Okay. I've got a question. His priorities when it comes to like American culture here. Yeah. You're okay with them having laws that like have, like, you know. So that like 150 times as many people die from gunshot spoons in the United States as Britain, but biscuits yeah. on gravy is what offends you the most. Yes. Would you would you I, accept? Wait there, wait there, wait there. Would you accept? Priorities. Would you accept the same gun laws as America? I think. If we, we also have had to, to enforce. Wait there. Wait. Shut up. If we also had to have gravy on all biscuits. But, like, all biscuits. Biscuits. all biscuits. I didn't hear the question. I was, no, no, I was distracted by an intellectual iconoclasm calling him bat tempered badger. Isn't is... that a badger? <laughs> I think this question is specific for badger, I think. But... It is. If we, uh, what sort of gravy are we talking about? Are we talking We're about... talking about that plate you had in front of you. 
Which I mean, that... no, no, that's terrible. That, that's the whole idea out the window. If we don't do that. So you would sacrifice your ideals on gun laws <laughs> because of gravy on biscuits? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> For the purposes of moving this discussion along, yes. <laughs> there we go. How to? There we go, America. How to get the Second Amendment changed? <laughs> they, they, they accept the gravy on biscuits. Um, Divine disbelief says uh, our laws might be the worst on the planet. All the dead people would agree. Julie says gravy on biscuits is delicious. Nerdy says never put gravy on biscuits. It completely ruins them. They go soggy like when you dunk them in your tea. Is white gravy a euphemism? How That's a very good point, Manda. The, how about we just feed the tiger biscuits and gravy, and then we we can we can like bring the question. Back. We need to find out what white gravy is. is white gravy a euphemism? Your Twitter name and Badger. I sent you both a picture. That's what it is. Oh, sorry, I no, do. I don't matter. No, it's fine. No, I don't matter. I'm not here at all. I don't need to see no picture of no white gravy. It looks like it, it looks like oh. someone spunked over a scone. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Dave. Somebody just came all over a bad scone. <laughs> or scone. I don't even like biscuits and gravy. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Dave. 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 Sorry, I'd be kind of worried if he played Soggy Biscuit as a child. I'm Just staying in my blanket. <laughs> yeah. I'm with bad tempered Badger, I'm gonna wrap uh, Badger, Badger you, if you've got a scone in your uh, blanket with you or not? No. Is, is someone gonna explain this shit to me or not? Jeff is. I, what are we trying to explain? No, no, no he's fucking not. <laughs> what Soggy Biscuits are? I don't even know. What are we the talking games, about right now? The game Where's Soggy the Biscuit. The game Soggy Biscuit played in public schools up and down the country. <coughs> What's up, Bob? <laughs> oh, oh, Thank you. He's assuming you went to public school as you're the poshest in the room here, Badger, I think. Yeah. <laughs> he's making me want to make a blanket fort. <laughs> Uh, no, right. nobody's gonna explain this shit to me. Uh, Fine. Right. Okay. You're, you get a bunch of boys. You get a bunch okay. of boys who are very enthusiastic Next. late at night. Next question, Dave. <laughs> right, you put a biscuit on the floor, and everyone does something on the biscuit, and the last one to finish, and the last one to finish has to eat the biscuit. Okay, that is so. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and that looks like and that looks like what that picture you just gave us yep <laughs> oh, I just link to Urban Dictionary but Dave has explained it so. right in order that I've missed loads of things <laughs> why did you link that to me I don't next question Dave right. the moving on innocence. Julie says next I would question. move to the UK to get away from the guns in the US uh, now she's uh, heard about what goes on in British public schools. She might not be so fucking keen to come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're fighting over gun laws. Um, how exactly is it we got to where we got to? Which I've just looked at the question again. I don't From there, remember the fucking question. So a tiger's loose. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so we have to I get gravy and biscuits. I yeah. said. Dave, I said we should do this on a, a different discussion. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you enjoyed that, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you think you've got a better answer or just want to tell us how wrong we are, leave a comment down below. Subscribe down here for new questions every day and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on our live shows. If you click over here, you'll see our latest upload. Over here, for what YouTube thinks you'll love the most. And finally, for a complete playlist of all our currently recorded least questions, click here.